Mark two pieces of parchment paper with rectangles measuring 15 inches long by 5 inches across. Flip the parchment over so you're not working with the dough on the side with the marker ink. Start by unwrapping the dough made from our recipe for checkerboard cookies. Keep the chocolate and vanilla dough separate. To help make the forming process easier, roll the dough into a log shape within the plastic before completely unwrapping it. It's easiest to begin pressing the dough into shape on the counter surface. Once it's in a rectangle shape, transfer it to the parchment paper. Gradually press the dough into the marker-defined shape on the parchment, trying to keep the same thickness of dough throughout. Finish pressing the dough by using a rolling pin, which also helps smooth the rough surface. It's okay for the dough to overhang the marker lines a little bit, as it can be trimmed later. Fold the parchment over the top of the rectangle of dough. Place on a baking sheet, then place in the fridge for two hours. Unwrap the chilled cookie dough, then use your ruler and a large chef's knife to find and score a straight line on one of the long sides. Starting with a straight line is important, as all further measurements will be taken from this line. The cutting happens later. Using a ruler, start from the line you just scored and measure and score the dough with markings every half inch. Do the same thing on the other side, starting from the same straight line. Use the straight edge of the ruler to score between the half inch markings on both sides of the surface. Repeat this for all the markings. Once you're done scoring, repeat the process with the other sheet of dough. Gently use the chef's knife to cut the dough into strips, pressing down instead of dragging the knife through the dough to avoid tearing. You should end up with nine strips of each color. To assemble the checkerboard log, start by placing a strip of one colored dough on your work surface, then the second color, then one of the first color again. It's not a problem if the strips of dough break apart while you're lifting or placing them, as they can be pressed back together again as you form the log. Brush the connections with egg wash made from the reserved egg whites, which will help glue the pieces together. Once you've done the first layer, give it a brush with egg whites, then alternate the color pattern with the first layer. Again, use egg wash to glue the strips together. Press them together, trying not to squish any areas. For the next log, use the opposite pattern. Instead of a bottom layer of vanilla, chocolate, vanilla, start with chocolate, vanilla, chocolate.
Once the logs are done, wrap them in plastic wrap, then gently press them together to seal the connections and remove any stray air pockets. Place the wrapped logs on a baking sheet and put them in the fridge for one hour. Once you've unwrapped the log, trim off the end, then use the ruler to measure quarter-inch slices. Score the dough for several slices at once, then cut them from the end. Repeat until you've finished slicing all the cookies. Place the cookies on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. The cookies don't spread very much when they bake, so you can fit many cookies on a single sheet.